Hi everyone, and welcome to another Before and After Shaves. Today's video, I'm going to do something a tad different, you know, something in the lines of a tag video, might I say. And today what I'm going to do is these two scents I'm sure you're familiar with. Executive Man and Venture. And you know what types of scents these are, right? The Creed Aventus. Yeah, they're the Creed Aventus type scents. And today, I'm going to put a little of each. There's the um, Executive Man from Sterling Soap Company. And then there's the Venture by Captain's Choice, the shaving cream. And I'm going to mix them both up and shave with them and see how the scent compares to just the single soaps. Like, like how it compares to them by themselves. And also I should mention I've also used them... Um, and I haven't forgotten, and I didn't. I don't have it. The doppelganger gray, which is the how much the Creed Aventus. I've got the barge soap for for the shower, or body soap. And I'll tell you what, it's when I wear it, it just sticks to me like glue all day. Like half the day, it just the aura of that scent just gets out, and I'll tell you, it's nice when it happens too, because yeah, it's just a really great scent, really nice, really beautiful smell. So in, the, in that case, I'm going to compare these two. Venture by Captain's Choice and Executive Man by Sterling Soap Company. And I've already prepped my face with the cube pre-shave soap. In fact, I just got a new cube opened up. The other one, as you've seen in my last video, it's kind of at this little stub right now by Yesmo. Yeah. From July. This is when I bought this one. Now I'll use it just to wash my face in the shower. And the razor of choice I'll be using today is my Parker variant. And I'll use her on setting three today. And I'll use a Vosshold blade. A fairly mild and smooth blade. A lot of people love this blade and I like it too. Brush of choice. A Yaki Deep Sky Blue 24 millimeter brush. Nice long handle, white knot. Kind of an off-white top. Get that. So let's just get this shave underway here. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of uh, lather the soap up. And I'm gonna see how the smell comes out when they're both to, mixed up together, because they are different. So let's just see how it, how the scent elevates when they're put together. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to start my own tag video. I hope people take on, hope it, I hope it catches on. So yeah, two of the same type of soaps. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna make everyone do a two Creed Aventus type soaps. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll tag it as um, two of the same type mixed together. Like if people have like, I don't know, two of the same like fruit scents or if people have two of the same type of cologne soaps or something like that. You know, she's taken a little bit because I didn't have it blooming. So yes, um, two, um, Two of the same type soaps that are homage soaps. It's mixing pretty good. It's coming out nice, as you can see. I'm interested to see how this is going to feel. You know, originally I was thinking about using the Executive Man by itself, but I thought, you know, I had two Creed Aventus type soaps. Let's mix one of each together. One's a cream, one's a soap, but either way, they're still soap. Right. I can feel the cream part of it because it's got that fluffiness to it as opposed to the soap. Okay. Well, I got that mixed. Let me wet my face real quick. I just washed my face, but I need to moisten it again. Oh, and um, also, great news for anyone going to the Big Shave Southwest. I am going to be there. So yeah, if anyone's going, you'll see me there. So That's going to be awesome. I got my uh, swag bag and my brush ordered. And it's raring to go. So, okay. Let's, uh, let's get this bad boy underway. The scent smells great. It smells just like it. I can smell a bit of the sterling part. Because the Sterling one and this one, and the Venture one, I should say, have sort of a difference. Mm. 
and it lathers up just fine. It did take a moment though because of the uh, sterling. Sometimes the sterling does take me a little bit to get whipped up. Some people does too. Okay, I wanted to get enough water in it. Hope everyone's having a good week. Is the weather acting up where you live or is it staying cold? Up here it's kind of radiating between cold and warm. The Midwestern weather, I'll tell you what, it's just, it's just out of its mind sometimes. We get rain, we get sleet, we get ice, we get snow. It's just one of those things you'll never know. Okay, setting three, Parker variant, Vosshold Blade, with the growth. See how smooth this Vosshold Blade is. So far, so good. Give it a little time here. Let's see. Watch the stash. Okay. Still has really good slickness, of course. Never a problem with me. And with the head this big on this razor, it's hard to see the sideburns perfectly. Like the Merker Future, a big headed razor is hard to mark your spot. It still has excellent feedback. Kind of angle it like that. I know some of my chin hairs, they like to kind of angle themselves a little bit. Okay, I'm rinse. <clears throat> but yes, I am going to get to go to the Big Shave Southwest. I won't get to participate in the Tombstone ride or the uh, the ball game they're talking about doing too. Going to the, they call it the, uh, that's going to be the, um, I could be wrong, um, the Diamondbacks and the Cubs, I believe, are going to play on the 26th. But yeah, we'll, <clears throat> we'll get there, you know, around the, we'll leave the 25th, and it'll be like a two-day trip. But yeah, I like to drive up there, though. It's a very nice scenic route up there through, um, on our way to um, Arizona. <sighs> I needed a shave. It's been about three days, I believe. I wanted to save it for a video. Yeah, the variant's a it's a weighty razor, so just let it. Just be careful, I'm not pressing down on on it. Give it respect, like you would a Mila R41 which is considered one of the more aggressive type of razors, especially if you ever put a feather blade in it. Okay, rinse it off. Okay. There's definitely plenty, never a problem. I need to wet the face just a bit again. <clears throat> need to develop a little more slickness. But yeah, first first run so far so good. Feels like it needs a tad bit of more water. But when the hairs are longer like that, sometimes it can feel a little bit tuggy at the first. But it depends on how much water you put into, I think. Might want to add just a little bit of water to that. Yeah, I can smell them 
mixed together. They both have their own uniqueness for being Creed type scents. So far, it smells just like Creed when they're both mixed. Oh, well, I'd expect it to anyway. But when I smell the um, the um, Venture, it's a higher concentrated scent. But when I open up the Executive Man scent, it's just it smells like a it's deeper. It's not as open of a smell. And it's my nose too. Everyone's nose varies on the scent. But so these two, I compare, you know, when I compare them, the Venture comes out like boom, right out of the jar. And the Executive Man, I mean, it's still a great scent on its own, but the, the Venture by Captain's Choice definitely comes out of the jar. So if I was like in a store comparing the two, and if I wanted the one with the higher scent concentration, I probably would have ended up just getting the Venture if in store if I was purchasing them in person together. Yeah, it's a bit a while since I've used the Variant Razor, so I have to kind of kind of have to take my time just a little bit here. I've done a few videos with this razor already. But if you're ever looking into an adjustable razor, a variant is an excellent choice to look into. This Parker makes razors very well. It's very well made construction for sure. It gives you five blade gap options. One being the mildest and five being the most aggressive. But if you're just starting off and you feel like your soap is thick on the neck, just make sure you add more water to that part so it's not so thick, unless you like it thick on the neck here. So I feel like the thicker the soap, the harder it is to get the hair underneath sometimes. Okie dokie. Feels close. It's good. Yeah. There'll be a few strays, but I think I got it. Nope. Spots here are kind of touchy. Or they're easy to miss. Like the ones that kind of dip under, like here and here. Those are easy to miss. Easy to leave hair on. Or it's tougher to get DBS unless you do it all against the grain at the end. Okay. Second pass done. Now, since I don't have Executive Man aftershave, I'm just going to go full on just with the Venture aftershave, since it's a Creed Aventus type shave. And this contains Witch Hazel and everything, so I'm going to skip the Witch Hazel phase and just go straight into the aftershave. Okay, no cuts. Not no cuts or anything. So far, so good. A really good close shave. A very smooth shave with the Vossod blade. But if you're looking into a good blade, my lid just slid in my sink. Okay. And it has this nice little thing here so you don't over pour. Okay. Got a lot. I got like a whole, oh, a whole palm full there. Yeah, a little sting. Not too bad. But definitely a nice, definitely a beautiful scent. But yeah. Yeah, definitely if you're starting, check out sterlingsoapcompany.com. Um, Captain's Choice is also excellent. Just look into both, see what works out for you, see what you like. 
the pre-shave I started with was my cube pre-shave. I didn't add it after I washed my face. I just washed it and prepped with it. And then I washed that off and then wet my face, put on the soap. I mixed together the executive man. I mixed a little chunk of that. I scooped out of the jar here. And I put in Venture on top of it. And then the aftershave was the um, the Venture, Captain's Choice Venture, Creed Aventus type. Razor of Choice is the um, Parker variant with a Vosshold blade. There we go, I didn't show it in the beginning. With a Vosshold blade, first use. Just doing two pass shave today here. And the balm. I didn't think about my balm. Let's see here. You know what? A little, little star jelly. Have it sitting right here and it's ready to go. Okay. On top of that aftershave, it should last me all night. So. Yeah, I'm doing this of an evening. Okay. Mm. I definitely want to get my hands on some Executive Man Glacial. I've never tried an Executive uh, Sterling Soap Company's Glacial version, but yeah, if you're if you've not if you're not familiar with um, Sterling Soap Company's uh, menthol, what it is is they do regular menthol in some soaps, and then in some soaps they do Glacial which is an enhanced menthol. They add like twice the menthol, I think. But um, it's just, it's a cost if you add it to something that doesn't have it. I don't really want to experience a glacial shave. Now I have menthol, but not glacial. Okay, that's the shave. I did my recap. So yeah, um, I'm gonna try to tag videos here. Um, I'm gonna tag She Shaves with Jill, and um, who else do I want to tag? I should have been thinking. Let's see, She Shaves with Jill. I'm gonna tag to do this shave, and let me get some names here. Ken Surfs, I'll tag Ken Surfs, and that's it. Those are the people I'm going to tag to do um, the two types of the same soap and one bowl. So again, everyone have a great night. I um, Thank you very much for watching. I, I appreciate all your subscriptions and likes and comments. Thank you very much. Two thumbs up. Great night and take care. Hmm.